Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Vault City, of course in Old World Blues, having a great time with everyone around us. So last time we took out Eastport. We got a port for the nation, and we're quickly getting more and more compliance. So, uh, we are just flying on the Antelope Tribes. It's going to take a while, so I might as well just let time go on. I would like to... Okay, so let's talk about this first then. I'd like to core all this area before we go to war. I could use my political power for other things such as wasteland militias, which I think would probably be a good idea now, since we don't have a lot of political power. Uh, protectors guarantee. The Rangers protect northern Nevada from the 80s, but they're not protected from each other. Okay then, cool. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go with wasteland militias now. Right now, I'm trying to build up my army to the point where we can actually use combat robots. So right now we have too many things on protectrons, well, not really, but it'll be what it will be, so. Uh, comment. So someone said, you know what? We can have outsider battalions. Just make sure that we have slaves. We, we need some slaves, you know? We need some uh, a little bit of slavery, which we already have indentured servitude. And, and consider the <clears throat> willing, unwilling conscripts fight for us. So, <clears throat> from the newly uh, new territory that we conquered. That, that, that might work, yeah, that might work. But anyways, we renovated downtown, and maybe we can explore that area, but let's modernize our courtyard. The courtyard has grown into a sprawling city in its own right, housing thousands of souls. It is also incredibly out of date, for it is a glorified ghetto with a crumbling infrastructure in which we get more workshops and factories. Which will be a delightful. So, really, my goal in this episode is to start using a ton of combat robots. Actually, for us right now, since we have so long... We could train our guys just a little bit, you know, the shift, click, left click training. Also, these general traits, if you assign them to a field marshal, from one of my commenters yesterday told me that half of the trait will go to the generals if the field marshal selects a general trait. Good to know. I'm probably going to forget about that in the future, though. Just being completely honest. Going to probably forget about it. Let's see, we can do Mr. Gutsies. Eh, we'll do it eventually to get more hardness, but I think we're hard enough. Um... Complicated circuitry is pretty good. What do we need? What do we want? But, but really, what do we need? Monthly population, there we go. But yeah, we definitely, definitely need combat robots because I want to take out New Reno. I said I want to take out the Bone Dancers. They're actually struggling quite a bit with Shoshone Nation. They are probably still going to win, the Bone Dancers. Well, there goes White Legs and Tar Walkers. Okay. Oh, that's a big Steel Rangers. Oh, because NCR is dead. The Western Brotherhood has taken over. The Mojave chapter has done really well. The Mexican, or Baja Mexican Californians are killing each other too. And that's a big Mojave chapter. That actually looks kind of bad if they can, don't have enough manpower to garrison this entire area. The compliance is going up, which is good for them, but... Compliance growth is minus 0.028%. Oh, no, no, no. I can't wait to see what happens when the Mojave chapter can't... Uh, keep it up here. Ramsburg. Oh, we might see a rebellion happen. We might just see a rebellion. That'd be amazing. But yeah, a lot of combat robots for our guys. Tons, because we only have five combat with. That's okay. To take out New Reno, New Reno's actually can be pretty strong. They can be pretty strong, and I'm really kind of worried that we don't have enough strength for that right now. If I want to throw in one thing at combat robots, make it 12 and a half combat width, we would have negative 272. That's not good. So, this probably isn't a smart idea. Stop making robots. Stop making them. We don't want them right now. Uh, let's see. APCs. Motorized. We can make some motorized stuff. Let's take off some things from triplane attackers. We're doing well enough with triplane attackers. I'll leave two on just so we can produce a lot of heavy lifter robots. Right now, let's keep doing... Uh, we'll, might as well do that. You know what? Uh, we. There's really no point in training that. I need more army XP. I'm going to go ahead and throw one on here anyways. And I was going to talk about this last episode, but I figured I wasn't going to. But, we cannot make these divisions 40 combat width, if I remember correctly. We can only make them like 35, 36 combat width divisions, because of the way the game is set up now. It is what it is, because we're limited from the number of divisions or the division sides that we can make. You guys, keep training. That's totally fine with me, we're not going to war yet, so... And I will up at the Antelope Tribes when we go to war with them. Do we even have a stockpile of robots now? Small stockpile. we got plenty of dogs. We've got monoplane attackers that we could use. New Vegas is going to war with the Great Cons. Good stuff. 
And I have a cup of Vault City coffee. Hmm. Mm, a little bit ahead of time, robotics. We could do that, maybe. Um, maintenance companies actually sounds pretty good for us. Make less robots from a lot of extra maintenance, you guys. If you got the stuff already, go ahead and train. Second massacre at Bitter Springs. Very good. And we have a few more uh, workshops. Let's get security station because I really want to get uh, remove courtyard inequality. It seems pretty good to do. Service, whatever. What's up? Security station. Monitoring local radio waves and housing much of the guard, the security station is the closest thing we have to a military headquarters and as such must be a proper fortress. Also, let me discuss intelligence. Let's go ahead and create an intelligence agency because someone said you can still create collaboration governments and I want to see how long it's going to take to actually execute the making of a collaboration government with spies. So, we probably don't want to use the ab there. Um, what screams Vault City? I want to say, probably not the KMT, or the Hammer and Sickle, or the French. Let's just choose Mr. Pillar. Office of uh, Vault City Intelligence. Uh, just something like that. Cult? Vault. Vault City yeah. Intelligence A. I spelled intelligence wrong. Intelligence. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not thinking right now. The VCI, oh, the VCIA, oh, okay, cool. Go ahead and create it. Yeah, I, I did say in the last episode I want to create more military factories, and I still do. Oh, oh, we can go to war now. That was fast. Okay, so uh, land doctrine, direct control, less defense, more soft attack, hard attack, even further less defense, but really army gets plus ten percent and less breakthrough for the entire army. So basically, what human commanders do, it gives your robots. More soft attack and hard attack gives your army less breakthrough and more defense. Ooh. And age of the machine, more breakthrough, more soft attack and hard attack. That sounds nice. Voice and autonomy, though. Gives you more factory output, which is nice. Efficiency base, growth, retention. More army organization and less cell usage. And then more hardness and armor for your units. But your robots also get more recovery rate, hardness, less supply use, and more armor. So I don't like debuffs. I really don't. So we're going to voice and autonomy. I didn't realize how fast we would uh, be ready to, to go to war. So, get ready, my f robotos. These guys probably aren't super strong. I could be wrong. Could be very, very wrong. Let's see. How much is this? Oh, they're really pacified at this point. That's so good. I love it when they're pacified. And we're still mobilizing. Very nice. So, that begs the question. Oh, see, look. The bone dancers are dying to the troll war now. That's exactly what I did not want to get involved with. Now... New Reno. They have about a thousand manpower, which isn't bad. They have way more divisions than us. I'm thinking... I'm still going to go to war with the Shoshone Nation, because by the time we're done with the Antelope Tribes, by the time we can go to war with the Shoshone Nation, the Bone Dancers should be dead? Should be dead? So, I'm thinking of that. The Great Khans are gone. No one's probably even going to miss them. Just saying. And good stuff. All around. And I'm going to pop out these guys, too. So, let's go ahead and go to war. They're not guaranteed by anybody, which is awesome. I want to say I want to try a general attack, but let's, let's try it like this. And they can't do much against us. Radio detection. Oh! You want to send volunteers to Reno? Cool. Awesome. Radar stations. I love radar stations. I pull... Let's go with a balanced attack. Let's see what happens there. I mean, our robots are not the strongest, but they should be okay. Yes, I should be making more divisions, but just these combat robots. I want to make sure that the divisions that we have are actually really, really good. Actually, you know what? Let's duplicate this. Just LRs. Even though it's not just LRs, I'm actually going to raise you up to be that. There you go. Just so that we have a difference between these two. So if I need to make more of these, then we're able to. And I have enough divisions on the front line. If something should happen. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But, you know, I like taking precautions. Um, 185 days. God dang it, man. That's not cool. Uh, hop over here, actually. 67. Uh, let's get guerrilla tactics. Even though it's for infantry motorized. That's still good to do. 
Since I saw an APC's irrigation, very nice, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, what, what do we want? The Watts 2000? I've heard energy weapons aren't really as good as they used to be. Mm, but you know what? Just because there's a Watts, we'll go with that. Just because that's a little different than a normal one. So, basic laser weaponry. Because I don't think it has as good piercing as it used to have. Right now, we are 8 casualties. I'm sorry, guys. 8 casualties versus 324. Recycling. Very good. It's good to recycle, guys. It's really good to recycle. We might as well get some more power stations because energy cells. Ah, New Reno, you showed up to fight. How strong are your divisions, New Reno? Ah, good. Vault City Intelligence Agency. Great. I'm going to go ahead and get form a department. It's going to cost us a little bit more of this, but whatever. And I want to start coring stuff as soon as I can. And I'll tribes now. I'm going to go ahead and puppet them. We'll annex them later, but I don't want to deal with that for right now. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Antelope territory. Oh, you know what? I justified on them again, and now they're finally dying again. <sighs> That's not cool. Yeah, the Western Brotherhood's going to be a pain in the butt. Problem information. White legs. I want to. I wish I knew which direction they're going to take. Are they going to kill the 80s? Are the 80s going to try to ally with them? Because they can go to war with New Hammond. Uh, it's going to be so important which one we choose. Go to war with New Hammond. I might take up Murtaugh. Oh, this is. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Because I want the Bone Dancers to die, but they might take out the Shoshone Nation before then. If that happens, I might just take out Klamath. Screw that. I'm taking out Klamath. Make it easy on us. Oof. Let's go ahead and stop the planes as well. New Reno divisions are leaving. Yeah. Here's the plan. I'm going to take out New Reno. Before the Troll War. Go ahead and make two things up there. Uh, this stuff really doesn't matter to me too much. I definitely, though, need more military factories. That's okay. 252, three a day. Need more robots. Need more, actually, some circuitry. That's not good. And, I need one more. Go ahead and start making some more. Oh, look at that. That's actually not too bad. Security stations, good. Level 20, 20. We can get a spy, thank God. And we can decrypt stuff. Oh, so good. Go ahead and do that for now. So, let's go ahead and grab Oswald Thomas Archibald. I love Archibald. Hmm. National focus, next. Pact of Steel. You know what? I could really make this really unfair. Just join the Brotherhood of Steel, use all my allies as divisions to kill off my enemies and take all the land, but I'm not like that. No, 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 no. Expand the wall. How bad is courtyard inequality? Minus 15% stability, minus 7.5% war support. That's not bad. Actually, that's really not bad, seeing as we're kind of okay with that stuff already. Vault tech stuff, defense, entrenchment. <clears throat> Model citizen, more stability, experience soldiers lost. I like that a lot. Ooh. Oh, there's nothing for tanks here. Tank equipment, motorized, eh, that's okay, APCs, and that's planes and the normal garbage stuff. Mm, division, wasteland surviving, training, no mutes allowed, military high command, really puts me in a tough position. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do expand the wall. So, <clears throat> Vault City is growing like the cities of old, and it has recently been pointed out that the vast majority of our people live far from our protective fortifications. A new layer of walls must be created to protect... That, which we've invested so much in. Good. And I guess I'll just spend my political power more now on coring stuff. It's probably a good idea. Look at that. 100%. Once it hits close to 100%, I think it's okay. If we go from wasteland pacification to just straight up sporadic outposts, I think that should be okay. Because compliance still goes up no matter what. Yeah. So we, have, we probably need way less garrisons. There they go. Yes. Oh, they even got a little bit more... Oh, the troll war might kill them. Oh, do I want to go to war with them? I might not want to now. Oh, hey, 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 what you doing here, boy? What you doing? If I take them out, we would have one mammoth... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. You know what? Just in case. Go ahead and start trying to decrypt this. Yeah. Oh, a thousand days. Holy cow. Nice, let's go ahead and core I-80. It attacks uh, so much political power, but the less resistance, the better. Mm. Let's go and do that. That'd be good. 
A little bit of man power, good. Is compliance still going up? So it's still barely going up. It's barely going up, but it's still going up, which is great. Oh, Lord of the Wastes, great. That went by really quickly. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Don't tell me it's clamped down on autonomy. Oh, we're getting paid soon, hopefully. Cool. All right, so how's this coming along? We need far less combat robots, which is fine with us, which is totally fine. Look at that. Oh, that Chevron has changed. It used to be more of the standard Vanilla Y4 version. But... Okay, so we're caught, really, in a bad place right now. Either we take out the 80s, or we take out the Show Nation and eventually fight the Troll War. I really don't like our situation right now. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. So they've got... They don't actually have that many divisions, actually. It might be a good idea to take out the 80s first. Before we do anything, though, the Troll Warren have a ton of divisions. Mirelurk Meat. <sighs> Southern Push. Cause of the Trouble. You know what? Let's type in here. Vault City. Weakness in the North. Claims and Territories. So they... The Washington Brotherhood must not exist. So they have to kill off the Washington Brotherhood first. Before they go to war with me. Which will be very, very good, I think. Because I'm not reading it here. Washington Brotherhood's core claims on core territories. There's only one focus. So, we're going to... Well, actually, they're not. that's not against me, but... You know what? If I don't have to go to war with the Troll Warren, I won't. Actually, oh, they might have had something for Klamath as well. Uh, I'll see if they're going to go to war with Shoshone Nation already. For us... Mm, you know what? The Red River claims... Oh, you know what? You know what? It... Uh, I mean, there's a chance that they won't go down this path. They'll go with Cause of the Trouble instead. Oh, man. This is going to be put me in a tough situation. You know what? I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to go straight to war with the 80s. If I can. This is, this is a bad idea. I know it's a bad idea. I'm going to need you guys out, though. You'll just defend the south. You guys have to defend the north. Because even then, the 80s are not weak. They're definitely not weak soldiers. Airbase, cool. Go ahead and do that. And then start training. Yeah, we definitely need more production on combat robots. Very good, very good. Since we have a small surplus, we're going to go ahead and throw on... Oh, we crud, we don't have any more army XP. God dang it. Just go ahead and train these guys. Grind out as much army XP as we can right now. Ugh, that's, that's a little frustrating. A little bit. 0.52. I mean, it could be worse, I suppose. Clamp down on autonomy. We could pull off divisions that Klamath will make. Oh, Vigits, you're going for damn busters. Uh, that, that makes sense. Uh, we can't really do much about that. So, next up, we shall go with Gem of the Wasteland, because we get more factories. Who can compare to the utopia that is Vault City? None and nothing. There are none with such innovative thoughts and such magnificent people and such glorious technology as us. We are the Gem of the Wasteland and the true last and the last true oasis of the world, old world in a sea of broken, twisted metal. Let it be known to all. But we don't want to pull on ourselves too much, or people might come kill us for it. Better radar. You know, I'm making radar stuff, or I'm researching radar. I haven't made any radar yet. I have other things that take priority first. Make some more uh, military factories, though. 20, 20, 20, 20, 30. Um, 30 it is. Cool. Go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, we should be doing some more stuff here. Government cypher schools. That's fine. It's fine for now. Whatever. We still have that going on as well, which is pretty good. Charlestone, Dam Busters. Cool. Yampo is annexed. We have three army XP. We've got a little, little bit of air XP from pilot exercises. That's actually not too bad. How much will it cost to core this? 200 political power. That's so much. Uh, let's see. 1.9. Resource X. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. But we need some more circuitry. We can't, you know, get 17 right now. I would really don't want to trade away my stuff for now, but... Five a week. That's a little bit too low. I don't mind trading out one. Oh! You know what, guys? I appreciate the offer, and I'm going to take it. How good are you guys? Oh, 18 combat, but that's not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, new general, perhaps? Oh, this guy was someone I didn't really like, but you know what? You're leading other people's soldiers, so I'm okay with that. Division attack defense. Recon bonus when entrenched. Gunslinger. Just get some more defense on these guys. I don't want them to push too hard. 
And I was thinking of something. I can't remember now. More. Holy cow, man. Ah, the Marlow traps. Please hold out Marlow traps, even though that don't look too easy. <laughs> Autonomous administry. When did I get that? Huh. Regardless, I like it. Let's do watch out for spies. Government staff for schools. More government staff for schools. That's getting better. Carlin. Good. Gorilla tactics. Awesome. Awesome stuff. I could get power armor back and wait. Salvage gun trucks is do that, so I want to make APCs eventually too, like I've said before. Basically, as a weaponry. Good, 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 good. That's way too far ahead of time. <clears throat> get the next level upgrade. That'd be good. Mountain City. Let's see. Mountain City would be better to core first. So, standardized blueprints, let's go with networked AI for more organization and less cell usage. Very good, very good, very good. And we almost have enough arm XP to raise ourselves up a little bit more. So, they're divisions. They're probably pretty good. Ah, military training, good. Better doggos, better resistance stuff. That's a little bit too ahead of time with me. Oh, we, oh I can't do that because I don't have enough military factories to create support equipment. Oh, that's not bueno. Mm. Let me do this. Just because these guys don't require too much circuitry, except for APCs, of course. Mm. And start making another... Oh, there you go. 20% infrastructure isn't really that good. There you go. Keep making more of that stuff. And we can go to war with these guys help the settlements we get about two or three guys a month we have more factories now which is great we can remove a deficit or a penalty to our courtyard so the courtyard problem has been troubling us for generations and Ford citizens have been treated as second class all the while the choice to integrate them into the city proper proclaiming them a literal but slightly superior second class should placate them for a time let's go ahead and stop training our soldiers get them more defense more good stuff like that <clears throat> we do have 50 bombers or 50 close air support in reserve. Actually, we have 40 in reserve. We have 50 ready to go right now. Uh, let's see. Let's grab another one. We need more stuff here. Watch out for spies. Just in case. You never know. And we have our justification until December 5th, which is good. Give our guys plenty enough time to do stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our other tribes quickly died. Let's grab another guy so we can make it 15 combat width. Make our guys a little bit stronger. More suppression, I guess. Gives it a, just a tiny bit more armor, just a tiny bit, slightly more piercing, but more breakthrough, which is good. A little bit more defense, a little bit more hard attack and soft attack. Corridor conscripts looking beautiful right now. Yeah, getting more army XP is kind of a challenge for us. Just a little bit. Oh, uh, they're killing the apostles now. How is the resistance here? Are they. Oh, there's zero compliance. Holy cow. Oh, there's more resistance than compliance. San Diego, oh, or Dana Point, or Daglo, and Greater Daglo. You guys should be okay with your... Washington Brotherhood should be okay, but let's see what happens. Good, I like seeing enemy resistance. Oh, they core New Hammond already. Oh. Um, 80s demand territory. They have the audacity to demand territory of us. How should we proceed? Should we crush her miserable ambitions at once or delay them by giving it enough time to annihilate them utterly? Oh, if they go to war with me. Oh, yeah. Give me some more war support. Oh, screw you guys. Go suck a fat wee-wee. Uh, we did one. I want to do one of every branch so far. So let's do merchant spy. Sounds like fun. Industrial support is gone. You know, whatever. Still making more military factories, which is awesome. So much and go oh do we have a do we still have another surplus? We have another surplus of combat robots. Now it's time to raise these guys up a little bit higher. There you go. Since we have a surplus already, that's actually really good for us. That's actually really really good. I was I was surprised to see that already. Kind of. We have a spy here. He's doing okay. Give us some info about this stuff. Oh, and they want to go to war with us immediately. Well then. Uh well. I guess we have a justification on them. Oh, oh, wait, 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 that's right, the Steel Rangers basically gave us a guarantee, so, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, that is, that is just great, I did not know how we could do that, like, do it like that, you know what, they're, they've abandoned the line, 
I mean, we might as well just go ahead and do this. And tell them to do whatever they need to do. Go ahead and help out. You might as well. Here, we're just going to hold... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll give the Steel Ranger some territory, too, of course. But this worked out so much better than what I intended. Holy cow. And it's time to core some territory. Yeah, baby. The less resistance, the better. Integrate the courtyard. Great. Let's do the future of servants. Let's see what happens. So, servants have been integral to Vault City for as long as we can remember. Des desperate souls willing to sell themselves into pseudo-slavery for a chance at seeing the inside of our walls. However, times are a-changing, and there are rumblings of servants requesting the workers' rights and reduced hours. Workers' rights? Pfft, they don't have rights where we live. Oh, but anyways, uh, let's do some more research. Hmm. Cool, I'll do that. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode here. So let's go and do this real quick. Steel Rangers. Looking really good. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Especially since we puppeted Antelope Territory. We're coring former East uh, Port Territory. We've gone to war with... Oh, the 80s have gone to war with us. And we've abused and used the Steel Rangers guarantee. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we continue to improve our divisions and expand our territory and eventually fight the Troll Warren. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.